Hi, I just wanted to introduce everybody uh, to our new series we're doing of videos of mushrooms in Bridal Trails State Park. I'm Jim Erkman with the Bridal Trails Park Foundation and um, I lead nature walks and I organize nature walks and before COVID did school programs, that kind of thing. And you know, there's a huge amount of interest in the fall in mushrooms in the park. So our fall mushroom walks are often our, are by far our most popular walks. And, and I wanted to introduce Daniel Winkler who has led a lot of these uh, fall mushroom walks for us. Daniel has a company called Mushrooming. He leads uh, eco tours focused on mushrooms and fungi all over the world, including uh, Amazon, uh, Bhutan Himalayas, these days. Bhutan, yeah. um, Tibet, yep. uh, the Pacific Northwest, and, and in other places as well. Um, he's got a number of uh, fold-out field guides, and he's working on a, uh, a new field guide to edible mushrooms of, of North America. Pacific Northwest, yeah. Pacific, excuse me, Pacific yeah. Northwest. Edible mushrooms of the Pacific Northwest. <laughs> and he's a past president of the Puget Sound Mycological Society, which is the uh, volunteer organization that does uh, interested in mushrooms in the, in the Northwest. And uh, um, he has been very active with them, has, was past vice president and does Vice a lot of president, vice president. Vice president. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Jim. I mean, <laughs> it's all right, no problem. This happened when we've done it on these nature walks, but anyway. No. So. I'm going to be doing a lot of splicing here. <laughs> All right, I'll so the other member of our filming crew is Kelly Goaty. She's the foundation's, the Brown Trails Park Foundation's... Right behind the camera. ...president. <laughs> <laughs> Operating the iPhone camera. So you'll hear my voice. You won't probably see me again because I'll just be asking Daniel a few questions as we go along. But it's going to be... Uh, Daniel's show from here on out. Do you want to talk about anything right here? Well, um, it's it's not supposed to be my show. It's supposed to show of the fungi, right? <laughs> and yeah, I want to say J Jim is really uh, has been supporting the knowledge about fungi here in Bridal Trail State Park. Uh, has been trying for years to get mycologists to support his efforts, and and he succeeded. So the Puget Sound Mycological Society. Um, has started uh, inventory here, a uh, fungus study, flora, fauna, fungi. So all the mushrooms that are growing here, and we've been doing that since 2016. And, and, and we collect specimens, we dry them, um, we take photos, we take notes of traits like odor and, and color changes that you can't get from a dried specimen. And then we upload the, the photos and the comments on iNaturalist, and then we do DNA. So that really helps with the precise identification of the mushrooms and will also tell us if we have mushrooms here or fungi which have not been found before in the Pacific Northwest or are new to science. So this is happening and we have already submitted over 150 uh, specimens. Um, it's, quite, it's very time intensive. Um, working on that. That's uh, Danny Miller of Puget Sound Mycological Society who really went deep into the caves of DNA, figuring out, uh, you know, it's, 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 you, you need to get a whole bunch of background knowledge working with that kind of data. So, Bridal Trail is just, it's just such a, I mean, 500 acres nearly of this forest that hasn't been uh, walked in, in, what is it, 90 to 150 years now. So, it's really great uh, environment and we find a lot of diversity out here. And, and for an uh, organization like Puget Sound Mycological Society that is based in Seattle and the suburbs, it's, it's very helpful for us to drop by here frequently and to uh, do our uh, work here. Now this year with COVID, we have taken uh, a break and not from the project work because we're still working on what we have collected, but um, just collecting uh, new specimens we we don't go out in groups anymore so a bit of a pity we hope to go back to that next year so we, we picked this spot to do our introductions because this douglas fir behind us is one of the original trees in the forest we estimate its age to be around 300 years old wow. and as daniel said you know logging hasn't occurred since 1936 right so most of the logging occurred in the previous 40 years or so so um some of the tree, about half of the forest is maybe a hundred years old. Yeah, at least a hundred year years old. now. Yeah, yeah at least a yeah. hundred. 
So it's a, we've, it's a fairly uh, mature farm. Yeah, yeah. So, um, and you know, we have also, we have a little bit of cottonwood in here. We have some alder, good stands of alder. Um, so a typical hemlock Douglas fir lowland forest with a little bit of deciduous elements, some madrones too. Um, so, you know, we don't have spruce or true fir, which would really help the diversity uh, in, 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 in fungal terms, but that's just not the environment here. It's not part of the natural forest. And so we go out in spring and summer and fall and look and, and we find all kinds of uh, interesting things. And um, it takes patience, especially the follow up. It's one thing finding them, but the documentation. Um, afterwards, the drying, you know, the keeping, the inventory, all these things. Um, but um, it's, it's relearning a lot. And that also is part of a big national uh, project to get um, reliable data on the distribution of the fungi of North America. So um, it used to be the Mycoflora project and I forgot the new name. It was supposed to be so easy to remember. I think fungal inventory. So I forget. I don't know. <laughs> And yeah, we we went. Hey, we need to think about that, but we didn't think about yeah. it until now. Since yeah. Now. Okay. Good. 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 Hi there. Hi there. Good. Are you? This looks like a serious endeavor. Yeah, we're making some money. No, fun. It's all fun. It's fun, G.